Hello everyone, today I'd like to discuss with you a factory design pattern. As show me my practice, a factory design pattern is difficult to understand for newcomers, uh, but uh, this design pattern is very popular and very useful for uh, every Java and not only Java developer. So uh, in this video I'm going to show you factory design pattern in a real world scenario. Let's assume that you have an online store. Uh, it's a common practice online store project. And let's assume that you want to um, calculate uh, order, order price uh, according to, um, or, uh, to the order price and a delivery price. Uh, let's say you have your online store um, among different countries or among different continents uh, and you have different delivery price according to your country location okay firstly let's create step by step let's create model package and add order request order request is just simple uh, java class which will contain a country and order price Uh, to make this tutorial more simple, I just use integer for the price. And I just use two fields, country and price, but in real world scenario, uh, order will have much more details than just two fields. So I'm just going to generate getters and setters. And I'm going to generate two string method. Okay, and let's say we have a service. Let's create a package service. And let's say we have an order calculator. It's an interface. Uh, this interface has only one method, uh, which gonna return a total order price. Uh, it's gonna accept order request and gonna return just an integer uh, total order price, uh, which will be calculated using uh, order price and delivery price and let's say uh, in the first scenario i'm gonna show you um, uh, this case without a factory pattern just like uh, a common uh, practice um, scenario uh, let's create a package and call it without factory And let's create Java class and let's call it uh, without factory order calculator. Implements order calculator. So uh, now we need to calculate order price and let's assume that we have, for example, two countries. Just to simplify our example, uh, you can have more countries uh, or even more continents, but uh, we assume that we sell our products in um, country, uh, let's say, USA and Canada. And we say integer delivery price Firstly, it equals to null, and then we say if, and let me just put country to the string, equals request get country. If country equals, let's say Canada, then we have a delivery price, uh, for example, 10. Uh, we, um, I was not gonna. Um, 
calculate price in currencies we just use uh, ordinary numbers uh, just because we want to simplify this tutorial and make it shorter and let's say else if we have country like uh, us we're gonna uh, put delivery price as for example 50 and what i'm gonna do is just to uh, return the sum request get price plus delivery price that's it our code works fine let's create a demo a package demo and let's create a demo class to demonstrate our uh, our service work class demo and public static void main and firstly we create order request equals new order request and let's say we put pri uh, price as um, let's say our order price is 50 and set country canada and we want to calculate our total order price so we just um, call order calculator equals new without factory order calculator so we're gonna sort order calculator calculate order price request and let's run our code and see if it works as we expect so it works fine we have a canada and it mm, it calculates 50 plus 10 16 what if you have some complex calculation of delivery price because in the real world scenario it's not uh, it's not gonna be just a number you know it's gonna be like complex uh, calculations maybe third-party systems call or something like that so let's just add uh, i'm gonna add just a sound statement uh, canada uh, delivery and uh, I'm gonna add new uh, south to the US else if statement US delivery and your total order price your calculate total order price um, should be responsible just for calculation order price not for calculation Canada delivery or US delivery so uh, and then that um, that's the scenario then uh, our factory pattern comes uh, in handy you know and you know there are a couple of factory uh, varieties uh, firstly i'm going to just demonstrate you uh, one of the it's not even called pattern but just a simple factory you know so uh, the point is just to create one single interface and then just uh, get uh, and then just create the classes which are gonna extend this interface and uh, and um, according to the country uh, get the um, implementation of this interface so let me show you in practice so now we have without factory order calculator let's create another package in our service and i'm gonna call this package simple factory and what i'm gonna do i'm gonna create an interface i'm gonna call it delivery service and what i'm gonna do is just put this code to the different delivery services implementation my delivery service is gonna return just delivery price and what i'm gonna do now is just create new class 
uh, which gonna uh, be Canada delivery service. We're gonna implement delivery service, and we just grab the else if statement from the without factory order uh, order calculator, and we're gonna return ten to be consistent in our examples and another class is us us uh, delivery service So I'm going to put US delivery price 15 to the get delivery price and that's it. And let's create, for example, class simple factory, factory uh, order calculator. And instead of this ugly else if statements in my calculate total price, I'm just gonna grab um, delivery service uh, in my else if statements. So my uh, calculation logic of uh, delivery price, price calculation will be in separate classes. Now I'm in calculate total order price and what I'm gonna do is just calculate my order integer delivery price is gonna be uh, delivery service I'm gonna create a method string country and what I'm gonna do now I say if my country equals Canada I return you Canada delivery service otherwise uh, if country equals US I just return you US delivery service. Looks good. Otherwise, I just return now. It's not a good approach. It's better to throw some exception, for example, uh, or some um, error message that shows that country um, didn't recognize. But I just return now. To simplify this tutorial so I'm gonna say and get delivery service request get country get delivery price and I'm gonna return my request get price plus delivery price looks better now now we have um, every logic um, for every classes in separate files and in separate classes so if we wanna we can for example put this method to some other class and our simple factory order calculator will be responsible just for order calculation but not for delivery price calculation so we follow as one of the solid principle open close and single responsibility if we need, for example, add a new uh, delivery service, we just add an else if statement here and create new class which extend, which implement delivery service, and everything works fine. 
and we follow all the solid principles and our code looks good but it's not a factory pattern it's just simple factory pattern so let's try to run a demo with a simple factory let's say our order calculator will be equals to new simple factory order calculator and we want to sort order calculator calculate total price request um, we we gonna see the same value as for uh, without factory order calculator let's, uh, let's run our demo and you can see that we have Canada delivery we can even uh, navigate to Canada delivery service from simple factory and let's change Canada delivery from simple factory so you'll be able to see that we run a Canada delivery service okay looks good and now a classic factory pattern I'm gonna show you the classic factory pattern so let's create new package and let's call it factory or how you can see another naming for this pattern is factory method and I'm gonna create new class factory order calculator and as usual I implement order calculator and what I'm going to do is just make this class as abstract and what, uh, what I'm going to do next is just to create an abstract method which gonna return me my uh, delivery service okay and I think it's better to move delivery service to the separate uh, to the separate uh, package because you know it's all related to the factory it doesn't matter if we use simple factory or classic factory or even uh, abstract factory we are gonna put our functionality into this separate interface and then implement those interface in every class which gonna uh, implement the functionality so let's me just create a new package and call it delivery and now I'm gonna move my delivery classes to the delivery package and us delivery service and you can ask me why i'm gonna change why i'm gonna use cancel sorry uh, what's wrong with uh, my simple factory order calculator nothing is wrong it, it looks good and it works like charm and you can use it in your real world applications uh, what if you want to uh, to make some promo offer for your users and let's say you wanna mm, make a delivery price like a zero or something like that so you wanna be generous and you wanna make some promo offers uh, if you wanna uh, so you need one more class but this class is not gonna uh, depend only on country but on uh, offer if it promo offer or not so uh, this um, this uh, approach uh, won't help you much but uh, uh, factory classic factory pattern will help you so let's check how it can uh, work so we created a factory order calculator and we made this class as abstract and we made um, one new we added one new uh, method which is also abstract get delivery service firstly we're gonna write some code here 
we're gonna return um, request get price plus get delivery service we're gonna call this one it looks weird but be patient i show you everything later get delivery price it looks really weird because we call an abstract method in our method so uh, now we gonna say um, we wanna make one promo uh, promo delivery service and one ordinary de delivery service so let's create it let's create new java class um, promo factory uh, order calculator which gonna extend our factory order calculator uh, and we're gonna implement get delivery service and I forgot to add country yeah string country yeah request get country so we have promo order factory calculator and we have new class uh, default um, factory order calculator which gonna also extend order factory uh, order calculator yes and in our promo action in our promo uh, promo type we're gonna return delivery service promo delivery service so we're gonna add new delivery promo delivery service which gonna implement delivery service but uh, this time it's gonna return just zero you know you just don't need to pay for delivery if you use promo let's sound something like promo and dot 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 and in promo factory order calculator we gonna just return new promo factory order calculator uh, sorry promo delivery service our own class so and in our um, default in our so it looks like I added my classes in the wrong package a default factory order calculator and promo factory order calculator should be in factory package What we're gonna do now is just in our default factory order calculator, we gonna check if country equals Canada, then we return just new Canada delivery service. Else if country equals us we return new us delivery service otherwise we return now as we did in simple factory example so we have now um, default factory order calculator and promo factory order calculator and when we will execute our uh, our classes our default method calculate total order price will call get delivery service uh, either from um, default uh, factory order calculator or from the promo factory order calculator and that's a implementation of classic uh, factory pattern uh, or how you can read in other resources 
factory method pattern. Uh, let's create a demo for this. And let's call order calculator equals new promo factory order calculator. And let's sort and uh, call order calculator, calculate total order price request. And now we gonna see promo order calculator. And we can see that we skipped delivery price because we use promo. You can use, for example, default equals new default factory order calculator. And let's out and see if we did everything correct when implemented our factory here yeah, you can see we can change uh, this um, sound method sound uh, message because we don't use uh, cannot we use canada delivery not only from simple factory but from ordinary factory let's navigate to canada delivery service and just call canada from delivery factory and run again and here we go so uh, uh, that's uh, about uh, factory and simple factory but there is another um, another view of the factory it's abstract factory abstract factory is when you uh, give the all factory uh, logic to the separate interface. So I'm going to show you the abstract factory in this example. Let's create package and call it abstract factory. Okay, and now let's add new class and call it abstract abstract factory order calculator now we're gonna implement order calculator and uh, now we're gonna create an interface And we're gonna call it delivery factory. In our delivery factory, we're gonna create a method which gonna return our delivery service. It looks weird because you know interface just returns interface but as you can see later it uh, will just delegate all the work to the separate interface to the separate classes and our abstract factory order calculator uh, will not be dependent at all from the factory so we're gonna create and new class promo delivery factory we're gonna implement a delivery factory and our interface is gonna return new promo delivery service and we're gonna create new class default delivery factory and for now we just copy paste from our factory default factory or calculator and 
yeah I forgot to add country let me get back to my interface and add, add country and I need to add country in the promo delivery service uh, now it looks better so actually you know guys that's it now our abstract factory or calculator um, doesn't have a methods or a dependency to create uh, a factory delivery factory and now it will just use the factory so let's add new variables private delivery service delivery factory and delivery service and let's say we're gonna calculate our price by calling request get price plus delivery service get delivery price and how can we get this delivery service using delivery factory delivery factory uh, sorry delivery service equals delivery factory get delivery service request get country and that's it but uh, we need to initialize our delivery factory so we're gonna initialize it uh, in the constructor public abstract delivery factory and we're gonna call this delivery factory equals to delivery factory and that's it so uh, when we are gonna use our abstract factory order calculator we are gonna pass our de delivery factory and then our method will use this delivery factory to produce the delivery service and then just use the delivery service get delivery price to calculate total order price let's navigate to our demo class and see how can we use our abstract factory or a calculator let's create new abstract factory or a calculator and pass for example a promo delivery factory and let's say we're gonna calculate order price let's run and as you can see we use promo factory and we use promo delivery uh, promo delivery service so now usually we are gonna use equals new uh, sorry uh, yeah yeah order calculator calculator equals new abstract new default delivery factor and as you guys can guess we will receive the same result as for the previous services uh, let's change our country to us and see if all our code will work as you can see works like a charm so uh, that's all what i wanted to show you today factory pattern is one of the most popular and one of the most important pattern design patterns so just use this video and use the code i'll leave you in the comments i'll leave you a link to the github so use this code to get more about factory pattern and that's it for today 
thanks for watching don't don't forget to subscribe to the channel stay tuned and goodbye